going heads up against the number two team in the nation. Inside one of the most historic arenas in basketball. During the final season of a GOAT coaching career. With damn near 10,000 Cameron crazies all up in your ear. Will forever be nothing more than a hoop dream to most of us. But for South Carolina State, that hoop dream became a reality. As they found themselves at Duke's doorstep. Cameron Indoor Stadium, home of the Duke University Blue Devils and more history than you can fit inside an 82-year-old 14,000 square foot arena. Iconic jerseys encased in glass lead the way to a wall full of Final Four National Championship nostalgia. And once you hit the floor at Cameron Indoor, it's on 10 for the whole night. The South Cac Bulldogs pulled up to the Bull City to show that Duke Brotherhood that not only can they hoop, but they're not going to be scared to come up in your house and get physical either. And they had to let them know that when you play an HBCU hoop squad, you're going to catch these layup line dunks. But let's not get out of pocket. We know full well that South Carolina State was about to square up with some of the most elite talent in college hoops. Guys like preseason ACC freshman and player of the year, Paolo Banchero. Trevor Keels, a 6'5 freshman McDonald's All-American from the DMV. And veteran forward Wendell Moore. The two-time USA Basketball gold medalist led Duke in the first half with 11 points. But Cameron Jones had something for him. Behind the back, straight to the cup, yeah buddy, that's a bucket. Here Jones gets the steal from Benchero and goes space goes coast to coast with another tough leg. Hampton transfer Edward Oliver Hampton, a quality pickup for the Bulldogs in the offseason, and homies never met a bucket that was too tough for him. And I'll sleep on my man Jay either. Edward Oliver Hampton finished the half with nine. But the Blue Devil had control of this one from the jump. A 29-8 Duke run to start the game ends with a 33-point Blue Devil lead at the half. And while we all knew that comeback wasn't about to happen, South Carolina State found a little offensive groove in the second half. Jamel Davis catching a flush off the loose ball rebound. TJ Madlock taking Trevor Keels off the dribble and finishing with a nice lay over Wendell Moore. Matlock right back with another tough take. He finished the game with nine points. And it won't no quitting these Bulldogs. Here go Latavian Lawrence diving on the floor for the rock. He finds Cameron Jones for another lay. And Jones puts up 10 and 6 at Cameron Indoor Stadium. But it was Edward Oliver Hampton leading the way for South Carolina State. Here he gets the smooth lay for two of his team leading 13 points. And while Duke did rest their starters for most of the second half, we all know they got top tier talent coming off the pine too. Big Mark Williams. The 7-1 center from Virginia Beach was getting his big man on with some strong flushes at the rim. But it was A.J. Griffin, the top 10 ranked freshman from New York who was the bucket getter for the Blue Devils on the night. He led Duke with 19 points and 4 rebounds on 7 of 8 shooting off the bench. And then boys that Duke went crazy after Keenan Worthington threw home to put back Jack. And while Duke showed why they're the number two team in the nation with the 103-62 win, the final score doesn't really tell the full tale. And South Carolina State was able to turn this loss into a lesson as they used their experience in Cameron Indoor Stadium to fuel a four-game winning streak to close out 2021, turning themselves into a little bit of a sleeper contender as we get ready for Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference play.